For over a thousand days, the sun's enormous power has ravaged the Earth's atmosphere. The unrelenting heat has scorched the Earth's surface, causing cataclysmic storms and calamities such as the world has never seen. Violence, chaos, torment. Now, the sun, the mother of all life, begins the final event by threatening to cast a colossal megaflare that will destroy all of the Earth's creatures. The cremation of the planet is at hand. In deep space, 500,000 kilometers from Earth, on an asteroid called New Trinity, man has created an antimatter bomb. It will be the greatest explosive force in the history of mankind. Looking good, Freddy. How you feeling? Terrible. The suspension coils need to be reduced to 2.3%. Reduced coils, 2.3. How's that, Freddy? Yes, better. And thank you, Captain. Thank you for what? For always listening to me and taking me seriously. Sometimes I feel that everyone has grown tired of my constant complaints. Hell, they only listen to me because I outrank them. I do thank you for having me programmed to analyze. I recognize my explosive potential, and I am pleased that you are commanding our mission, and for your attention. Goodbye, Captain. We will rendezvous in 38 hours, 13 minutes, 52 seconds. Please mark. Easy does it. Have a safe flight, Freddy. And take good care of yourself, you got that? That is what I do best. Command Starship USS Helios has arrived. It will shortly begin its journey to the sun. Moving into position. All right, I'm giving it to you straight. I don't give a Martian's ass about anything except the performance of my ship. Now, we're traveling 148,800,000 kilometers on a goddamn modified space buggy that's still untested. Sir, I have been assigned to this ship ever since the commander ordered her into emergency service. Now, I can assure you that Helios will perform this program. Oh, that's terrific. The project officer gives me her complete assurance. Captain Borg, I'm a biogene. I know the Helios like I know my own heartbeat. We're all specialists. If we couldn't complete this mission, I assure you, sir, we wouldn't even be here. At the odds we're facing, this ship must give us 100% if we're to have a chance to succeed. Just a chance to give old Mother Earth another 10,000 years. All right, Alex, get on with it. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Meeks. This is Bobby. What? <laughs> well, darling, my, my friends, they call me Bobby. For Christ's sake, He's Meeks. just stroking. Sir, engines are fired up and ready to go. Sir, if I may. Accelerometers indicate momentum. Converters are operating at peak dynamic saturation. McBride? Yeah, the Big Bang left New Trinity aboard the cargo ship Chicago. Big Bang? The antimatter bomb. Now, our rendezvous time with the Chicago's now at 
33 hours, 9 minutes. Both navigational systems are locked. Skipper operations are in standby mode. Mission launch will begin at 0600. All right. Navigational coordinates are filed and stand approved by command. One way in, one way out. Mr. Bork. Yes, Dr. Manami. Sir, as you well know, I helped design a RAW probe. And I know its limitations. After the explosive is installed in the RAW, and the Helios is in position to launch it, the RAW will need a pilot to guide it to the target area. And I am the most qualified. Like Manami, uh, I don't have the authority to make that decision. Hell, I, I'm just watching the store here. What you're asking is going to be up to the commander of the mission. Yes, sir. I'll speak to Captain Castle. The target area is Region 17. Manami, that's 15 million friggin' degrees. I'm not going to share your guilt. That's a foolish decision. You may be an authority on meteorology, but you're brain dead when it comes to handling a man like Teague. You're walking on the backs of every suffering human being on this planet. That's a compliment, isn't it? At least I'm moving forward, aren't I? I'm warning you, Dr. Haas. Don't shake the goddamn tree. Tell your Mr. Teague the tree is already dead. Approaches countdown and will be the chaos in the world continues. IXL will have an economic headlock on the food and fuel resources of every nation on earth. Henry, you talk as if we had weeks or months. If this starfire theory occurs, what the hell does it matter? Teague is gambling that starfire will never happen. By the time the sun's destructive force recedes and life continues as before. This board of directors will control the most powerful financial base the world's ever seen. While everyone is worried about dying, IXL makes a killing. Right now, let's go to Rhonda Henson, live in Skytown, where the Helios awaits final Listen, countdown to launch. How can you Rhonda? smoke in this heat? In only a few minutes, 16 courageous men and women will be journeying to the sun and the prayers of all of us. Sit down, please. I'm not the emperor. But goddamn, I'm hoping someday to be. Dr. Haas, what are the prognosis? Is that a word? Prognosis? These are on the disc. A consortium of scientists headed by Dr. Griffin and Dr. Pei have determined that starfire is certain. A mega flare explosion will vaporize the Earth's atmosphere and destroy all life. I told them they were mistaken. That fact is, they are not mistaken. I discovered that my staff and I have miscalculated. The Starfire theory is correct. It is imperative that we support the Helios expedition. It is possible that this antimatter device, a bomb, could divert the mega flare away from Earth and into space. A large solar flare will take place within 48 hours. Dr. Haas, are you absolutely convinced that this catastrophe will happen? There seems to be no question. Dr. Haas, doesn't it appear the Sunspot group is merging? If you look at the Fraunhofer lines, you'd notice that... Is that your expert conclusion? Well, I don't call myself an expert, but I do have That's eyes. right, Dr. Beeson. You are not an expert. <laughs> Dr. Beeson here doesn't agree with my calculation. She, along with a diminishing minority of scientists, they are wrong, and I am right. And what if you're wrong? 
Dr. Haas? Well, IXL invests in the future, an optimistic future. And I refuse to believe that a mega flare, or even God himself for that matter, is going to end it. That's not the way I see it. I see it in terms of the status quo. Yes, sir, I believe the board sees it exactly that way. Thank you, gentlemen. Dr. Haas, uh, sorry I have to run. They keep me on a very tight schedule. Call me if there are any new developments. We must abort this Ra expedition. Mr. Teague, the expedition will be taken care of. Jesus. They're charting over 200 knot winds down there. Damn it. There's so much electromagnetic interference. Communications are almost impossible. What about the optical receivers? Oh. They're acceptable, but I am having a hell of a time decoding. Shuttle's in from New Trinity. Is Kelso aboard? Yeah, yeah. Is he on the money? Look, as far as I'm concerned, he can cut it as commander. I mean, I haven't seen him for years, but we used to have a few drinks, a few laughs, a few arguments. We used to be friends. Friends? Yeah, we started in the service together. We flew some missions, and then his wife died. Things changed. Now he's a top dog. Now, who knows why anything changes? Let's put it this way. That cutting edge between them was competition. It just took off in the wrong direction. Come on, you know where I come from. You buddy up and you give your new friends a great big old hug and let them know how you feel. Come here. Ooh. How's that? Uh, good. Good? How about if I squeeze you tighter? Uh. <clears throat> well, I suppose you'd all be wanting friendship. Bobby, I think the lady's got the idea. Yeah. Sorry. Alex, out there, our only security blanket is each other. We all have needs. I just want you to know that we will care about you. Captain Kelso? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Alex Knoll. Oh, Captain Kelso, I'm um, Steve Kelso. Hi. Hi. I just thought I should introduce myself since we're going to be working together. Oh. Yes. Oh, Alex Knopf? Right. Sure, Alex. Of course, command sent me your emergency report. You handled it very well. Well, thank you, sir. Every system has been monitored and personally verified. And my procedure will include all personnel, both physically and psychologically. Psychologically? Well, a psychological study of the ship's personnel under stress conditions will prove very beneficial. Lady, that's nonsense. Did I say something inappropriate? No, just not too realistic. I thought I was being very realistic. Maybe it was a poor choice of words. Yes, sir, it was. Now, your executive officer, Captain Borg, has called a navigational sequence at 1,600 hours. Will there be any more questions? No. No? Nice to have you aboard, Commander. Captain Kelso reporting his orders, sir. Oh, knock it off. Hey, you really look lousy. Are you working out at all? Well, I have been on New Trinity for the past three months, working with enough antimatter to destroy the Earth and the Moon along with it. I figured I'd I let it wait. I didn't want you out there in the first Dad, place. Why do you, you immediately... You volunteered. You volunteered. Just like you volunteered for that crazy suicide mission to the sun. It is not you a suicide so mission. You goddamn hard to convince everyone you're not protected by your old man. You, look, do you're going to get yourself killed. You have to go through you know this that? all over again. What am I going to tell your son, huh? What am I going to say to him? I tried to get him up here. I, I couldn't get the call through, so meanwhile, he ran away from that stupid military academy I told you not to send him to in the first place. Wait a minute. 
Is he okay? Have you heard from him? I just told you, he, he's AWOL. Now, don't blame the boy. Don't, don't blame him. I probably would have done the same thing. I just had it in my head to take a dropship down and find him myself. Dad, you're not going to do that. I can do anything I want to. I'm the Admiral. I've got to get over to the soul lab. I'm late. Hold it, damn it! You tell me you love me before you leave this room. I love you. I love you too. Starfire scenario is on threshold. I don't have to tell you what those at home are facing. If this monster sun flare reaches the Mercury orbit, the Earth's surface would become glass-like. Estimated deaths, 50%. If this monster flare reaches the Venus orbit, the Earth's surface would become magma. Estimated deaths, 90%. 90% of human life. And if this megalo flare reaches the Earth, complete destruction. Alex. And these magnetic tubes are like elastic bands stretch beyond a threshold. They snap, causing a solar flare. Now, this tube, as you can see, is giant and wound much more tightly than any before. And if it snaps... This is the region we need to penetrate. Region 17. This is where we will prematurely trigger the flare on the far side of the sun. The Helios and the Ra are both protected from the sun's heat by electromagnetic barriers using the superconductive coils. It's gonna be damn hot. We won't burn up, though. The barriers will work. As you were. Now, we don't have much time. Originally, the Helios was to travel to New Trinity, where we would load our antimatter device into the probe bra and then proceed to the sun once in orbit, trigger the flare in region 17, and then home free. Good Lord willing. To save time, Space Barge Chicago is going to carry our bomb to meet us en route. We will we'll rendezvous with the Chicago here and then on to the sun. With five tons of antimatter. A miracle. Now, for the bad news. Since we haven't completed testing the guidance system on the probe, and we don't know what the electromagnetic interference is going to do, we can't afford sending it into the sun without human backup. Originally, the probe was built with a pilot seat. We were hoping we would never have to use it. But we cannot risk a malfunction or a computer error. So one of us is going to have to pilot the RA. OK, loading process begins as of now. Good luck.
Winning what, sir? Baseball! Dodgers? How long does it take this thing to go back up? Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh, I knew it! I knew that kick ass! I knew it! <laughs> I'm Mike Kelso, sir. Hear that note? I hear a lot of them, sir. A lot of notes out there, kid. You gotta find the one you like and grab onto it. Makes sense. So, you requested a list of all personnel who can pilot the Ra? Alex, is your name on the list? Yes, so there are five of us, including you. So, I think I should be at my station. Ra alignment looks good. Inertia stabilizer full auto. 30 meters. Docking system switching from sky tower control to helios control on my mark. Mark. And I'll acknowledge to initiate terminal docking sequence. Helios docking coupler's green. We'll switch to external power upon hookup. That's affirmative. That's 15. Sounds good. We're Inertial stabilizers drifting. Confirm and correct. Confirmed, Helios. Let's lower down to 78. Confirmed. Looking nice and center. Let's keep bringing her on in. Pads open and ready. And we have a marriage. Helios, we have a major problem here. Confirmed. Emergency Christ. What the hell are you doing? 
What happened? Outside fuel line ruptured. I want a damage report. Captain, mm -hmm. Captain, we have a jam up on System 3. What's going on out there? Problem's not up here. Losing pressure. Uh, Try a system bypass. That's not it. It's internal. I think we need to open this thing up. We lose her. We lose the mission. We lose everything. For more increased magnification. We have it located, Captain. Try it now. Looks good. Lights went off. Confirmed, Helios. Connectors free and clear. Docking collars open and tracking. Switching raw over to external power. Did it work? Perfectly. Looking good. Entering envelope. Decreased forward motion 20%. Decreasing forward motion 20%. Inertial stabilizers in auto mode. IXL maintenance crew is needed at control main LMB for launching interchanger. Yes, Brief flight checks completed. <laughs> Captain. Yes, Kelso here. The Admiral asked for flight clearance on dropship bay number five. We thought that since you're his son... Dropship deployment. Prepare for hatch closure and depressurization. Please clear the docking area. Caution. Dropship deployment. Yeah, what the hell do you think you're doing? Going down to find your son, Captain. There is already an army down there searching for it. Going after my grandson. Now get the hell out! Thought about the boy once in a while. Gave him a little of your time. Thought about him? I have done nothing but think about him. I don't know if you have noticed lately with all that's going on, but I am under a lot of pressure. Now, have you noticed that, huh? Come on. What the hell can he say that to me? He's talking about my son. Loud, I think I'm saving my life. <laughs> and I know when I go flying solo and free, I can touch the stars Sir. up high, flying high and free. Sir, I just huh? wanted to thank you. I just wanted to thank you for helping me out. Ah, flying high and free with the earth and sea. No, sir. That's an old one. <laughs> oh, hey. Sir, it'd be a lot easier if I knew your name. Yeah. And I know they can't wear me down. How I love to retreat from my home on the ground and fly close to the you water. You are in Stop for nothing. Unless, unless something stands in its path, and then I think that they're programmed to stop, I think.
Sorry about your bike, sir. Maybe they only stop for living people. You know, that's something we don't want to find out. I mean, those things go from point A to point Z, and that's all they know. Oh, great, here comes another one. created in one way or another, aren't we? Honey, I'd say your way was a hell of a lot better. Where did this creation happen? In a laboratory in Oxford, England. Mother? Unknown. Well, what about the baby maker? Well, you know, the old man. Sorry, also unknown. I was fertilizing a test tube. All right, let's hop to it. We're about to fly into Abraham's bosom. This whole galaxy is heaven to you. You call it heaven? Yeah, my mom told me that heaven feeds the stars. Did you know that? No. When you're out there, it's staggering. It's timeless, ageless. Maybe it's even eternal. There's only one problem. While the captain's busy storming the gates of heaven, the rest of us are headed straight to hell. being flown in. Millions of dollars have been donated from public and private sources. The death toll here is in the hundreds of thousands. Mr. Teague's office? Claire, you wouldn't believe the view. Mark coordinates 4, 5, 
12, 9, 12, 1, and 8. Nexus. Biogene now coded Delilah. Tell Mr. Teague you can play her like a piano. Too bad, Delilah. I'm the only one that can ever free you. Initiate the RCS and give me an immediate scan rate. Who long T? Range 9 8. Chicago. We'll toss it. Use the backup sequence. Rendezvous point set at vector 05.007. Your environmental is in phase. Your internal power set. Leaving just the bow connectors. Okay, Helios, we have Doc and Connor disengaged. Navigational panels have been calibrated. All lights are green. Engines powering up to standby. Squibs armed and ready. Go for internal power. Helios got your control. Separation is complete. Power connectors disengaged and she's free as a bird. Data systems are positive. Meeks, I need a straight up reading. Roger TC, we're online. We reach max in 21 seconds. TC, did I ever tell you I'm mad about you? I know you, Meeks. All you want to do is chew face. You needed some help. Get a medic. You look. Look at what? Skytower control to Helios. Begin pitch over maneuver. We have confirmation of complete intended deployment. Helios, you cleared envelope. Switching over control. Good luck and Godspeed. We got a green on coolant turbo. What's this sudden emergency, as you put it? Our, uh... Thank you. Our beautiful Dr. Beeson here... ...tells me there's a strong possibility the Ra mission might actually succeed. Does she? Are you Teague's personal advisor now, too, Claire? Not really. I'm pleading with you. The raw mission is our only chance for survival. Dr. Haas, I, my company invests in the future. I've invested my ass in food, seeds, water. I've invested my ass in you. Teague, I'm begging you. There's no doubt that Starfire will happen. The raw mission, even though the risk factor is enormous, it can succeed. Oh, it won't succeed. I've made sure of it. I wasn't going to tell you anything, but when Claire unwittingly spilled the beans, it would be a mistake to think that anything would just slip by you. 
You're committing murder against the whole world. I'm warning you. I won't be quiet. I won't. Dig! We're running out of time! It's murder! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? No! Hey! I like the way you call me, sir. Uh, there's a kind of a majestic ring to it. So what do you do? I'm a creator. My name is Travis. Travis. I... Ah! I don't remember my last name. I know that it starts with an R. Uh, it's kind of a, a really simple, like Brian or Randy. Rob, 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 Rob. Down! Good to see you again, sir. Commander, I don't believe what they just told me. You still haven't found it. Well, that's correct, sir, but we... No buts. I want five choppers out at all times. I want a virtual for me personally, and I want you to report sir, every... They found his chopper charred in the middle of Gila Flat. We've had violent sandstorms, sir, and well, the chances of him surviving that kind of heat, those conditions, they're just... How do you know it's his chopper? Do they have nameplates on those things? No, they do not. I'm sorry. Commander, sir. I want you... I want you to... Comb that desert till you find him. problem in the engine coolant turbo. The bleed valves are jammed open and they're they're dumping coolant into the ionization chamber. I tried to equalize the damn thing, but get Alex on it. She's on it. Still can't figure it out. Emergency cooling status. We're in trouble down here. We got radiation leakage and you can't Sir, 
How's it looking? It's bad. We've got coolant leaking into the ionization chamber. It's causing a build of a pressure, sir. If we don't equalize it in 10, 15 minutes, one of those engines is going to blow a hole the size of a bird's hole on the rear of this ship. Well, don't tell me what might happen. I know what might happen. Give me a solution. What if we shut off the turbo pumps? No, no, no. We overheat <laughs> in seconds again. The tanks would burst and... Sayonara. Get a man suited up. Get him out there. We'll fix it manually. That would be a dead man, sir. Once the pressure equalizes, the buildup of plasma and coolant will trigger an explosion. Whoever's out there is going to get killed, fried. Well, what do you suggest, Commander? Give me an alternative. Okay, Captain. Which one? It's your pick. All crew evacuate lower engineering Level in engineering bay unacceptable for human maintenance operation. Thermal levels exceed design limits. Correct and verify. Shit, I'll Correct do it. And verify. No way, we need you here. Somebody else. Lieutenant Meeks. Yes, sir. Listen to me, Meeks. Everyone dies. Everyone's soul goes someplace. I'll tell you one thing. Yours is going straight to heaven non-stop, you hear me? Okay. Now, try not to look directly into the engine ports. You gotta move quickly. The radiation... I wish it was another way, Minx. Hey. Maybe I'll make it. All right, Lieutenant, get ready for depressurization. Clear airlock for depressurization. Let's go, Terrence. Tunnel access hatch open. Pressure's that you need one. Seal it once it gets through. You okay, buddy? I'm sorry. Okay, Meeks, engine access panels disengaged. You should have a clear shot through. What could have caused this?
a problem, Captain. The isolator valve is wide open. Meeks, we got a frozen isolator valve. Isolator valve's frozen. It's not stuck. It's on lock hold. What? Cut it! Biostatus critical, heart rate 190, blood pressure 165 over 110, approaching terminal status. Man, come on, man. Come on, please. It hurts to breathe. It hurts to breathe. Let me get in there. Come on. Meeks. Meeks. You're almost there. Just breathe slowly. S slowly fill your lungs. My oxygen tanks are roasting. I can't take this. God help me. You're almost there. Almost there. Somebody. Talk to me, somebody. is back to normal, sir. Immediate maintenance inspection required in engine access areas C3 and C4. I'm sorry, sir. Emergency situation cancelled in engineering sections. Emergency situation cancelled in life support area. Bark! Fuel down procedures cancelled. Engineering access tunnel radiation containment systems operational. All right. Everybody back to work. And are within operational limits in engineering sections. Life support systems restored in all areas. Initiating radiation dispersion systems in engine area C2. Jensen, Tracy Mix, born Chicago, Illinois, February 17, 2021. Specialization, cryogenics and propulsions. Sir, we've contacted his friends, we've talked to Beddington, we heard he might have gone, probably went AWOL. We're doing everything. Oh, he didn't go AWOL. Well, of course not, sir. That's not the way it's going to look. We're That's going not to... what I mean. With me. First time I heard about those damn solar flares, I thought, get him up to Skytown where I can keep an eye on him. Call the school, have him send him up. No, no, he said. Dad wouldn't like that. I'd, I'd have to go AWOL. Okay, I told him, you do that. That's what I would have done. And he did. He's my grandson. He's just a kid. Now, my son's flying into that inferno, that... 
bloody suicide mission, I... I could have ordered him off that. I could have, but I didn't. Now maybe I lost them both. Gurney, get away from here a minute, will you? Sir. We'll find him for you. I promise. Ice waters. Please. Can I get mine with lemon? If you got it. Don't have any lemon. It's two fifty, including tip. Large families of locusts have been migrating through Atchison, Kansas, devouring all vegetation that stands in their path. Exterminating squads are at the scene. Rioters have been flooding the downtown streets of Tokyo in an uproar, setting fires, leaving behind a trail of badly beaten bodies. Riot squads have been fighting hard, trying to suppress the violence, but with little to no avail. Six to seven hundred miles an hour, three times the average. The way I think. This solar crisis has brought the whole world together. And if this mission succeeds, which of course it will. Imagine what the world's gonna be like. The United World. <laughs> Travis? You okay? to tell somebody. Please, help. Point. Locked in and go Freddy's home. giving us a green light, sir. OK, bring him on in. All systems. Reduce containment vectors 2.7 degrees left. Suspension coils nearing end of travel and should also be lowered. 3.14 to be precise. Spider 02, ready to hand off for manipulator. Tug 01, stay on my port side. Give me a vision. Spider check operations and auto control. On your 02, grapple fixtures are clear. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted, ready. External power. External power. Three, uh, central, two, actual, one. Alpha. Ten meters to dock. We have a lock. Secure hold doors. That's affirmative. Security ID clearance code BW 900-648-Able 4. 
Recognize. Enter voice sample. Alex Knopf, Biogenetically Enhanced Human, Project Officer, United Command Helios. Alex Knopf, recognize. Shall I process your entire file? No, Freddy, that won't be necessary. I find we're a lot alike, aren't we, Alex? Alike? No, Freddy, you're wrong. We're not alike at all. Hello. <laughs> Red Sands, eh? What do you guys want to go there for? Skytown. My friend's the one that's going there. No shit, space. All right. But you know, this baby only holds two. <laughs> Sounds great. Thanks, man. You went to the Academy, Biddington. Yes, sir. I was a cadet. Last one, I'm in the house. I can't just do that. What are you doing? Skilly cat. I'm not escaping out. Don't. Remake him. Interfreak it all. But 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 that's crazy. Who who would want to do that? Dick. What did he say? Somebody to take you to Red Science. Let's go. You don't rob a dying man. I'm gonna try and notify somebody he knows. Dr. Gunter Haas, IXL Corp. Trap, trap! The guy in there. He told me something. What did he tell you? He spoke Latin to me. He said that some guy named Teague from IXL was trying to sabotage the Helios mission. No kidding. Wow. Ooh. Vaya con Dios, friend. Where are you gonna go now? Oh, there's a beautiful note out there. I can hear it. I'm gonna reach out and grab it while I'm still young and... <laughs> and the chicks dig me. <laughs> Sunstroke, pretty bad. Oh, is he sleeping now? He's dead now. Oh. Um, I'm the one that called you. I didn't know what else to do. I mean, there's no doctors here. And when did you find him? Um, they brought him in from the desert. And he was shaking really bad. He was delirious. He spoke to this kid wearing um, a uniform. You know one of those military school uniforms? What did he say to the kid? Well, I, I couldn't tell, because they were speaking in a different language. The cadet, where did he go? Well, I don't know. I mean, he came in with that old man. He was there just a second ago. <laughs> How 
can I help you? We're looking for that kid you were hanging out with. Oh! Yeah, I, I just met him at the bar. I never did catch his name. <laughs> Maybe I... Maybe I just didn't ask. <laughs> Sure. We were hoping you did. Kid, what the hell was that? What are you guys crazy? You almost killed us here. What, what's going on here? Oh. Now, soldier boy. You tell me every word that fool Haas told you. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Dr. Manami. We're gonna run through a quick system check. Are you set? Yes, sir. Good. Did you know I only had 10 annihilation events during the loading? They had the suspension coil set too high, but I told them to decrease their bandwidth. Oh, that was smart of you, Freddy. Yes, I feel that it was, Dr. Manami. I don't think that people really understand how sensitive I am. They think that I complain too much. I can hear them bantering. I have good ears. Do you think they're right? Do you think that I complain too much, Dr. Manami? No, no. Not at all, Freddy. I wish that I was a ranked officer. Then I would be taken more seriously. Oh, no. People do take you seriously, Freddy. Okay, but I tell you what. I'll put in a good word with the captain. Have him make you an, uh, an ensign. Or better yet, a lieutenant. Oh, that would be wonderful. A lieutenant. Good. Manami? Hi, Alex. Hi, Freddy. Hello, Alex. Listen, my computer card's all messed up. I don't know what's wrong with it. Do you mind if I borrow yours? Oh, sure. But just get it back to me when you're through. Alex, did you know that Dr. Manami is going to see to it that I become a ranked officer? Well, that would be very nice for you, Freddy. In a short while, it won't make any difference. It matters to me. I'm told I'm to be a hero. Isn't that true, Dr. Manami? Yes, Freddy. We'll both be heroes. Lieutenant! Kill the bag. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know if it was Beddington or not. What I do know is that it was one of those cute little military school uniforms. Did he say where he was going? I don't know. He he was hanging out with this old guy. The old guy? Is this the one who died? No, it was this other guy. He had white hair and he had a face like rotten leather. I mean, what's the big commotion with this kid, anyway? I mean, you know, this is the second time that I've been through this question. The second and time? I... When was the first? Well, these corporate types came in, and they were asking the same questions. Corporate that... types? Yeah, like from one of those big companies? Something with letters? IXL Corporation? Yeah, they took you to Wallen. You find out about that much. Everything. Uh, and that, uh, that guy, the, the one that wrote the book. T. T. Yeah. Arnold T. He runs T, the company. <laughs> Can I go now, sir? Yes, thank you very much. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, um, you go ahead. I'll be right with you. Give me a scratch, please, straight up. Uh, sir, do you think you should? No, I shouldn't. Yes, sir. Corporal, let's get these men out of here. 
That's okay. Thanks. Excuse me. I like your hat. Step aside, Take son. Take it off. I don't think so. the raw mission. We didn't hear you. Concentrate on living. Can you do that? Huh? Travis? Tell me what your last name is. Can you remember? Huh? Richards. Travis. Jay. James Richards. Sir. Monitors show proton flux levels at counter saturation. Region 17 is showing accelerated merging. on the port engine. What's the damage? There's no access. The mercy bypass valves are jammed. Then blow the sons of bitches apart. Just get me an answer. 
Captain, how bad is it? Manami, why don't you tell me? How the hell am I supposed to know that? It's bad, okay? It's real bad. Harvard, how long to come up with a printout of the crew's security IDs which have accessed, altered, or reprogrammed systems in the last 24 hours? Why? What do you... Look, I asked you a question, oh. Lieutenant. How long? Data. Could take a while to answer. Do it. Captain, the tanks what? are back on. We lost 63% of the oxygen. That's not enough to get us back home. Well, then I guess we don't go home, do we, Lamar? Why are you trying to sabotage the Helios expedition? That's what Haas told you, huh? I'll tell you why. Because the world isn't going to be engulfed in flames. And I don't think it's right to mess around with nature anyway. You ever read Nostradamus? Several things are supposed to occur first. Yeah, if I recall. One is that the Antichrist will walk the face of the planet. Only thing is, he doesn't walk. He flies high above and vertical so he doesn't have to witness the suffering at eye level. My dad told me one thing that I'll never forget. He said that you can be as smart and as brilliant as you like. But never let your ambitions grow bigger than your heart. Sounds like a good man. He is. Only the way you've arranged things, I'll never get to see him again. Right. Son of a bitch has cornered just about everything edible on Earth. Meat, fish, grain, stockpiled up to his ass. It's not against the law, Admiral, for a corporation or an individual to invest in futures. <sighs> futures? Where is he? Could be anywhere. He's an extremely busy man. How would you get hold of him? He carries a portable phone, but that doesn't tell me where he is. Set up a tracker. Can you give me a fix on that portable phone, son? I can do that, sir. Good. Scientists. The world's full of experts and scientists who say God has spoken through them. One thing I've learned, no one knows anything. All their theories change like the tide. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm not that predictable. Water, water, everywhere. Kill the kid. yourself, kid.
Get tallied. My grandfather said the same thing. Back off. I don't want to shoot you. You don't have a choice. Skytown, this is Helios. Do you read me? Skytown, this is Helios. Do you copy? Keep on it. Give these instruments a hand job if it would help me get through, but it won't. And damn it, I need a damage report on the aft thrusters. We're working on it. Well, that is not good enough. Kelso, get out of my face. We're working on it. I'm handling it. No, no, no. Forget that. Listen to me. It is vital you get that message to Helios. Repeat. Vital you... This is Admiral Kelso. Kelso, Admiral Kelso. Who am I talking to? Avery, sir. We're trying to get the message through. All we're getting is static. Too many ions bouncing around out there. They're just too close, sir. Keep trying, sir. Yes, sir. Keep trying. Speed, we're gonna crawl right into that solar flare. Borg may be hurt, but he sure as hell isn't dead. Sir, something's coming through. Must be a code. All I can make out is Delilah. What or who in God's name is Delilah? We're hours behind schedule. If we don't kick this junker in the ass, Earth is history. Hey, well, why don't you get your ass behind it and push? Alex, status on available power. Alex! We're rerouting. Well, how long? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what the hell you think's gonna keep this damn ship together when we do get it? Sure, hold. Sure, hold. It says rain. Good news for the farmers. Don't waste it. 
It's a damn hologram. Sir, they got a fix on him. He just took off in his Vertol. I'm on your tracker. I want confirmation. Destroy him. Harvard. Sir, tell me whose security card this number belongs to. Delta Tango 9800 17 Kilo Lima dash UNSF. Ken Minami, sir. Minami? Boy, that doesn't make any sense. Captain, we're approaching critical orbit. All right, TC, call down there. I want Manami pulled off the raw immediately. Do it. But if he doesn't pilot the raw, then who does? Mario detonation. Manual detonation, T minus six minutes and counting. Ready? You're my friend. Stop it. been a true friend. Help me. Help me. Nexa. Nexa. Dwyla. Dwyla. Free. Free. Nexa. Nexa. Delilah. 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 Seems fine. 
Simpson, get her down into the probe. I want her near Freddy. Everybody else, get back to your stations and stay there. Back to the station. Back to the station. Let's go. Captain, how's it coming? Not good, sir. We've got several systems back up, but I can't seem to get into any of them. Some sort of bullshit code won't allow me inside. Can you break the code? Man, we won't even go home in body bags. McBride! Now look! Everyone get their shit together! That's an order! Something, sir. I think we just might have it. Manual detonation T minus two minutes, twenty seconds, and counting. Alteration. Backup systems accessed. Please verify security signature code with authorized voice sample. This is Lieutenant Gordon, Harvard Clark. This is the way my voice sounds. Mark, two minutes and counting. God help us. Come on, come on. Suck it up. Harvard! Can we enter new voice IDs? Sir, we keep getting the same thing every time we try. Unrecognized. There's only two people on this ship Freddy will respond to in this type of situation. Ken Minami and Alex Doff, and both of them are out of commission. I don't have any ideas left. Harvard, find pre-recorded tapes on either Alex or Minami. Maybe we can trick the computer. Do you copy? Where would I find pre-recorded tapes? Seconds. Alex's bio. There's a voice sample on Alex's bio. Do you copy? Manual destination. T minus one minute and counting. Captain, sir, we're approaching Region 17. If we don't launch Rye within the next few minutes, we'll lose our window. Oh, sir. Sir, we're all set to launch here. We just need to know if we have a pilot. 
Do we have a pilot? Hello, sir. We have a pilot. Sir, who? Who's the pilot? Harvard. How much oxygen do we have left? We're at 31 percent, enough to get us a third of the way. All right, now listen to me carefully. Shut down all non-essential systems. Set up a rendezvous with the Chicago. They will get you home. Yes, sir. If this ship blows, at least I'll have the satisfaction of watching this come out by the roots. Out of here. Decision has been made. I can't trust you. I don't understand it. I don't understand why I didn't see it. Look, I tried to tell you. You have to believe that. Look, please try to understand that for some insane reason, somebody or something wanted us to fail. Damn it, Alex. People are dead because of you. What the hell's going on inside your crazy head? I was programmed to. I don't know the reasons. You would have murdered all of us. I never knew that I could feel such sorrow. Such shame. Or that I could feel about any man the way I feel about you, Steve. I could never lie to you. Please let me pilot the Ra. Let my life mean something. Impossible. One minute to target. It is possible. <laughs> Captain, hello, sir. Do you read? Crew to emergency stations. Caution. Maintenance operation in cargo bay area now terminated in preparation of cargo bay door Forgive open. me. Cargo bay area cleared and depressurized. Alex, you have systems go. Photosphere temperature 6,420 degrees and climbing. Deactivated. See what I'm seeing. Describe it to me.
Take us home. 